Hello and welcome back. So I just got that package in from Noctis Modus and I couldn't wait to get a chance to check out this Lockwood uh, he sent me, which was um, very excited about. <laughs> I really love these Lockwoods. Uh, it is a Lockwood Asa Abloy um, 334B45. Um, has a working key and this is the bidding on the key not too shabby um pretty <laughs> saw blade -ish, i guess um it has a removable core works absolutely great um cool lock i'm gonna put this in the vise and this is my first attempt <laughs> so see what uh what kind of goodies is inside this lockwood i'm gonna go top keyway as i normally do if i can all right that's it and uh let's see if i can get the gym in there looks like a pretty wide open keyway just up a little bit sorry guys get you guys better better in frame here You. Awesome. All right. Um, you know what? That uh, warding is right in the way. Yeah, I can't reach the pins. So maybe I will play it off of this warding right there. So find a shallow, shallow hook. Make that work. Okay. Go in uh, back by. Light tension. Got a binder on three, I think. And it felt like I got a click out of him. So that two was binding. I got a click out of him. Four. It feels like maybe it's uh, standard pins in this, which, you know, doesn't surprise me, I guess. But... Oh, wow. Okay, I touched pin four and got her open. That was awesome. Uh, gosh, I love these. All right. Uh, there we go. We will uh, gut this. I'm pretty sure it has uh, standard pins in it, but let me back out here so you guys can see. And uh, let's uh, see what's inside of it. It has a Phillips number in it. All right. I have not ever taken one of these apart. Uh, that comes off. All right. Looks like we have screws on the actuator. go all right it is a five pinner uh, let's see where it is and there is the bidding on the key or not the bidding on the key but the key works everything is in and working there um, and one we have a standard two I have another standard three I have a standard four oh a serrated uh, four and in five, I have a standard. Nothing done up here, no counter milling or anything like that. All right, let's uh, look in the front of this. 
see what we got up top here in the uh, in the bottom. Ten one, really strong spring, standard. Ten two, another really strong spring, standard. And three, another standard. These look like all steel pins as well. They're they're all silver. Um, and another standard, which actually the they're all um, look at it. I think they're all beveled on the end a little bit. Kind of interesting. But that's what we had inside of this. All standards except for one serrated key pen. Kind of interesting. Almost looked like it was uh, a homemade. So let's see if I can get that up in there. That was the only uh, serrated pen. Come on, focus for me. All right, I'll bring it up to the, I'll bring the board up. Up here so you guys can see. And one and two and three and five, we had all standard pins for the key pins. Uh, one serrated pin in uh, number four. And up top, we had all steel um, uh, drivers. And all they were all standard, but that's what I had inside of this Lockwood um, 330, uh, 334B45 uh, padlock. Uh, pretty cool. I think I might go ahead and see if it's possible. Look in here. Um, one, two, three, four. Nope, there's only five in there, so I cannot make it a six, uh, six pinner, but um. Nonetheless, I could probably maybe uh, serrate a couple more of these pins and maybe even put some tools up top. Make this uh, uh, a very uh, challenging padlock for, uh, for, for me to pick because I'm probably not going to get rid of this one. <laughs> this one uh, this one's going to stay in my collection. I don't really keep a whole lot of locks, but I'm pretty, pretty darn sure I'm keeping this one. So uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and don't break the law. Quick addendum. Uh, looking at this, there are six holes in the uh, in the Bible, so uh, and six pins in the uh, core. So this will be a six pin lock. I can assure you. Uh, just wanted to make sure I verified that. I wasn't gonna say something that wasn't true. So uh, again, thank you for watching, and don't break the law.